Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony, here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading on do your feelings match? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to look into your situation regarding a specific person. Okay, so this is obviously somebody that you have a crush on or this is a love interest or a soulmate or a twin flame or an ex or somebody that you're dating. Um, I feel like it's going to apply more to people that are just unsure of, you know, maybe someone that they are have a crush on or something, but it could apply to people who are in a relationship. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If you would like a more personal reading, then check out my website, promiseharmony.com slash services. I have readings that start at only $22. That's actually a reading with my partner. Um, but my readings start at $44 for a basic reading or $77 for an in-depth reading. You guys will be excited. My prices are back down, but I only have a limited number of spots available. So at the time that I'm doing this reading, I believe I only have five in-depth readings and three basic readings left. So um, be sure to get them before they're sold out. Once they're sold out, I take time to do the readings and make sure people get their readings before I put more in stock. And this is my new um, way I'm doing it so that everyone can get their readings in a more, um, in a better am amount of time than having to wait so long. So anyways, I'm excited to be here. Um, it has been a couple days since I've uploaded a reading for you guys because I've been working really hard every day on your personal readings. And so um, I hope you guys have been enjoying. I've been posting a lot, just putting up some old readings you guys might not have seen. Thank you so much for all of your comments and all of your support. And also those of you guys who've been worried about me, um, I'm doing just fine. I've just been working really hard, so um, I'm glad to be back here with you guys. Let's get started, okay? So what you're actually going to do to choose number one, number two, number three, or number four, because I have four options for this reading, you're going to choose a person, okay? <laughs> I can't find my crystals. I usually have you guys choose a crystal, but I've been traveling. It's all packed up. So um, choose number one, Homer Simpson. Number two, Rihanna. Number three, Leonardo DiCaprio. Or number four, Vincent Van Gogh to get your message, okay? And once again, we're gonna ask, what are your feelings, your romantic feelings towards this person? And then we're gonna ask, what are their feelings towards you? This is a love reading, okay? So for those of you guys who choose number one, Homer Simpson. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. <laughs> I'm going to take this away because it's kind of distracting. I thought you guys would have a laugh at that though. So first of all, we're looking into what are your feelings towards them? Okay. So I haven't actually done this in a pick a card reading before. Um, remember, these are your feelings. So trust yourself, but we're going to see if the cards will reflect your energy. So how do you feel about this love interest? So you are feeling a separation from this person. Um, you guys have been spending time apart. This is a message about maybe this person has left your life. Maybe they've walked away. Maybe you guys broke up, okay? Um, that's the message for the majority of you guys. For a few of you guys, I'm seeing that you're contemplating whether or not you should break up with this person or spend time away from them. But for many of you guys, this has already happened. And um, you're trying to stay optimistic, but obviously the fact that we're getting this card that's telling you to stay optimistic probably means you're not feeling so optimistic about this connection and about the separation, okay? And this person, you really, they make you happy. Like you feel this happy energy. You, you have an abundance of love that you want to give to this person. And, you know, they give you the butterflies in your stomach. And, you know, they're probably the, the last thing you think about when you go to bed and the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning. And so there's this beautiful, bright, positive energy around this person and around this situation and around your feelings for them but yet there is this sadness of the separation and a feeling kind of like I don't know how to get through to this person I don't I feel like I lost my chance or I don't know if I have a chance 
it's probably why you're doing this reading right now, you know? And so it is a bit of confusion. Um, the person makes you feel happy. You obviously have romantic feelings towards them. You want to be positive, but it's hard. Um, there is this separation. It makes me think maybe you've known this person before or you've known them for a while or you've had feelings for them for a while or there's like a past there. It could be that there was a past life between you guys or an actual past um, in a relationship or in a friendship or something. And so there's this message coming out about the way you feel. It's a little complicated. It's like, I, you know, you're kind of like, I like this person. I feel happy. I have strong feelings for them. You know, I love them. Um, maybe it's even that, you know, but then there's a part of you that's sad and there's a part of you that's feeling the separation and that's feeling kind of left out in the dark and like just unsure about this connection. So um, now let's see how they feel about you. Um, well, this person is in mourning right now when it comes to you. They feel really, really sad about it. And they're probably going through some kind of grieving process, you know? They've probably been in denial about the situation. There were times they were angry about it. They've been sad. They've been through the bargaining phase. If you're interested, look up the grieving process. It's very interesting. It's like a death cycle almost we all go through in our life whenever there's some kind of death or loss um, or breakup or something and so i feel like they've, they're going through that and they might actually not be like putting that face on to like everybody in their life it might be something very personal like you might not realize this person has actually been kind of sad about the separation um and i believe that this this person um it does want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you it's like maybe they feel like they've made a mistake because this is the release your ex card reverse so for some of you guys this could be an ex or someone that walked away from you or you walked away from them um, or it was a mutual thing but it's like you're not feeling you're sad about the separation they're sad about it they want to have a talk and they they might be wanting to feeling like i want to connect i want to reach out i want to tell them how i feel um this could also be a message for some of you guys that maybe this person's in a relationship and they're sad um, because in order for them to pursue you, if they want to make that choice, they're being caught in the middle because they're going to have to break up with somebody or let somebody go before they decide to pursue you. So they feel stuck in the middle. So this is a this is definitely an it's complicated situation. I have another reading called Rainbow Harmony Pick a Card It's Complicated. You can search for that on YouTube. I actually reposted it recently. You can watch that reading and see if it resonates. Um, this is definitely the kind of situation I would suggest a personal reading for, but of course, trust yourself. You don't need to buy anything or purchase anything or get a reading in order to follow your life path and have a harmonious life. It's just a suggestion. Um, but I do just kind of feel like this is complicated and this person, um, I feel that they have feelings for you, but there's a lot standing in the way. You know, they've tried to step away from this. They're trying to let somebody else go. They're sad about it. You're sad about it. Um, and I feel like they're struggling a lot more with this situation than you are, than you even know. And so that is what's going on. I hope that this resonates with you. I'm sending you so much love and light with this reading. Peace out. So um, now what I'm seeing is, um, I gotta really clear my energy up for that one. Whew. Um, those of you guys who chose Rihanna, we're gonna get into it, okay? So if you chose number two, Rihanna, let's do this. All right. So how do you feel about this person, this love interest? How do you feel? Well, you have been kind of hesitant about this relationship. I feel like there's some good vibes here for sure. Um, but you're a little hesitant. There might have been offers from this person. They might have reached out. Um, maybe you guys are even in a relationship or there's like this hope for that. Um, but you're a little hesitant. Um, you do want to give this relationship a chance though. You want to work on this partnership. Um, I feel like you guys have gotten to know each other a little bit and there's a strong attraction here and you are feeling very attracted to them. Like you want to get to know them more. You have an attraction and um, it's really interesting to see reconciliation and new love right next to each other. With this hesitancy card, this might be a message for some of you guys, not all of you, but for some of you guys, um, 
you are thinking about this person and you want to get back with them and you want to reconcile with them, but you're also on the fence because there might be a new love that's come in your life. And so that might be why you're hesitant. You might be like, I want to be with this person. I, I'm attracted to them. I want to get to know them more. I want to give the relationship a chance. But then there's this other person that I'm really into and they're kind of newer and they're different and they're interesting and I want to try this out. And so there's this hesitation, okay? Um, for the rest of you guys, this could be a situation where you want to start over with somebody and work on the partnership and like make a new love. This could be someone you've known, like someone from your past, once again, an ex-lover or a friend um, or somebody that you like dated a little bit, but that things never took off. And so I do see this opportunity for you to try this out. And I feel like your feelings are like, I want to give this a try. Okay. So there's two, whoop, two groups of you guys. Um, hang on. I feel like that's kind of one over here to point at this. My crystal does that. It like jumps at cards. Um, I feel like ultimately this has to do with you feeling like you want to give a relationship a chance and you want to get to know somebody and you're very, very attracted to them. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and see what their feelings are towards you. Okay, so this is actually really, really positive. All right, the message I like to see. This person feels the connection to and feels the attraction because you guys were past life lovers, okay? This has happened before, okay? This could also mean in the past you guys have been together in this life. It could have been in past lives. Um, and so let's go ahead and read this past life card because it will really explain things to you. It says... You received this card to explain the relationship that you've inquired about. You have some unfinished business in conjunction with a soulmate from a past lifetime. This may involve forgiving someone, a joint project, or learning personal lessons such as patience. Soulmates recognize each other instantly, and this feeling is often registered as a sense of romantic or, or sexual chemistry. The magnetism that draws two people together can surpass logic because the purpose of the relationship is healing and learning. Whether or not your soulmate becomes your life partner, you'll experience personal and spiritual lessons and growth as a result. Okay, so this is definitely like a connection and hopefully that helps explain it better. That was from my um, Doreen Virtue Romance Angels deck. I want to give her credit for that beautiful passage. Um, there's a message about the honeymoon period being over between you and them. So this might be this person has already gotten to know you and like experienced this connection with you and um, and they, they've made their mind up. Um, they are feeling like you could be the one, okay? And it's like you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this person has got their eyes on you. I don't think they're like trying to pursue anybody else right now. They're feeling a very, very strong connection with you and they want to see this come together. They're willing to be patient, to wait for the right timing. And this has something to do with the planets, something to do with the stars. Um, I think a lot of people, for example, were trying to get into relationships this summer, but there was so much crap going on. There were six planets in retrograde and there were three eclipses and it was just insane. And so I feel like a lot of people weren't really, there were more breakups than I feel like there were actually people coming together. And so this is saying the planets have something to do with the fact that you guys haven't been able to make this work together so far because they're feeling it for you. And I think things are gonna clear up energetically, um, you know, within the system, within the cosmos, and also within yourselves to bring this together. Um, I see this moving forward. I see, yeah, your feelings do match here. I feel like your feelings are a match. You guys are equally into each other and um, this is good vibes. So I hope that this resonates with you. I'm sending you so much love and light with this reading. Peace out. All right, just clearing my energy real quick. And now we are headed on to Leonardo DiCaprio. So if you chose number three, Leonardo DiCaprio, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so how are you feeling about this love interest? Well, you definitely have been flirting with them or you wanna flirt with them. 
Um, you are open to expressing yourself and your energy towards this person. It's not like you want to pursue them or chase them or anything. It's just like you want to flirt. You want to kind of put your cards on the table a little bit. You want to let them know I'm open, I'm available. And um, obviously this means you've got your eye on them. Like and there's a sense of destiny here. This is also saying you feel like this is destiny. This could be like, oh my gosh, I, I have a feeling this is a soulmate. I have a feeling this is a twin flame. Like I feel this pull towards this person. So what I see is you have very strong feelings for this person. And as far as what you want to do about it, like you want to flirt and you've probably been flirting and trying to express yourself to this person. And so, um, yeah, you, you feeling the energy and you feel like this sense of, um, like, like you want it, like a destiny around the situation. And so very strong feelings, of course. And let's see how this person feels about you. Well, what I can say is that this person definitely feels a soulmate connection with you. And in general, definitely dreams and hopes and has visions of connecting with the soulmate. So they do want to open themselves to love. But to be honest, this person feels like there's something complicated about trying to connect with you. And it has a lot to do with their own personal situation. Here's the healing family issues card. If you've been following my channel for a while, you probably know my whole spiel on this, but unfortunately, um, if you had like toxic parents or narcissistic parents or one or both parents were absent or neglectful or abusive to you when you were younger, this is going to affect you in your love life romantically. And you're going to attract partners that are gonna help you heal this. And um, it's not like you have to be perfect and you have to like ascend or something in order to attract a soulmate or a twin flame. Um, but you're going to see that, you know, if you have toxic, like connect, uh, like a toxic connection with love and your with your parents, it's going to create toxic relationships and a lot of confusion and a lot of blockages with you and love. OK, so this can be a message about you. If that's resonating, maybe it's this you're, there's a blockage with you guys connecting because um, it's like maybe you're putting out the wrong signals or you're feeling like just like there's some more things that need to be healed here. But I feel like since it's on their side, it might be more of a message about them. And then I also see like this toxic, this is all about a toxic family or toxic work environment, but po probably a family. So um, what I'm seeing with this person is that um, usually what I see with someone who has this, these are people that have a hard time committing. This is somebody, you know, sometimes we call them fuck boys or whatever. Um, people who just want to hit it and quit it or who are afraid to open their hearts to love or who are really indecisive or whatever. And so I'm not trying to diss on this person. Um, I see why you like them. Like they do have a really beautiful energy. They are trying to open themselves up and they're just they're just healing this side of themselves. So it might be that they're not ready to connect right now or they're unsure of their feelings. Um, it's like they feel like they have to wear a mask and they don't want to let anybody in. Can this in energy shift? Yes. So I feel like this person just wants to allow the situation to unfold naturally with you. They have a lot of anxiety. And so if like you're getting mixed messages or you feel like they're being weird, it's probably because they've got some stuff going on in their past. Don't we all, I, I've gone through this, okay? It's why I can speak about it so clearly. Um, and so this is a message saying, do their feelings match for you? I don't know, you know? It's, it's almost like they don't have the capacity to feel in the same way that you do because they're working on healing. Is this relationship gonna move forward? It's a 50-50, you know? Um, I feel like keep flirting, be open. I know you feel a very strong connection with this person. I don't know if this person can give you back the energy that you're putting in here. So, um, you know, if this person is reciprocating and pursuing you, then be open to that, you know? But if you feel like you have to push, if you feel like you have to fight for this and struggle for this and manipulate it for it to happen, then just let it go. You deserve to be pursued, you know, let someone chase you. And, um, and I feel like that's the message here. So I hope that this resonates with you. I'm sending you so much love and light with this reading. Peace out. So I'm just clearing my energy. And we are going to get into number four. So if you chose number four, Vincent Van Gogh. So random, I know. <laughs> Let's see how um, 
you feel about this person and then we'll see how they feel about you. So how are you feeling about this love interest? Um, okay, so what I see here is that you've really surrendered your will. This, this connection has probably been going on for a long time and a part of you is just like ready to let it go because you're just like so over waiting or so over the back and forth um, or it's like, you know, you see the light in this person and there's an attraction here, but it's almost like you're, it's, it's, it's hard for some of you guys. It's like you've given up for some of you guys. It's like you're at the, you're at a surrender mode. So I want to remind you that surrendering doesn't mean that you giving up on something. It just means that you're giving in to the infinite possibilities. Anything can happen here. You know, there's infinite possibilities for your, your soulmate, your twin flame, your life partner, you know, a, a connection, whatever it is you're looking for. Um, and I feel like it's possible, maybe you knew this person when you were younger. Um, some of you guys, you've grown up with this person or you knew this person when you were younger. That's why the children card is like coming out reverse. This person's very close to your heart. It could also be that this person just makes you feel younger and like makes you feel young again. That kind of energy of like, they bring out the inner child in you, they're playful, they're fun. And like, you really feel like this connection to them because of that. Maybe you have had some fun experiences together. Maybe you guys are like spontaneous together or something. Um, but then there's a message about making the effort. It's like, you don't want to make the effort. Um, this could be because you're trying to let this go, or it could be because you're just like, I don't want to pursue this. I want this person to come to me. And so um, I feel like kind of an intense energy around this connection. Like your feelings are like, obviously you're into this person. You wouldn't be doing this reading. And there is something playful here and fun and spontaneous and like, this, this is all, might even be an energy of like a twin flame, like you're unsure, is this my twin flame? Is like this a connection? Um, it's a lot of confusion here. Um, but I do, what's positive here is I do feel like you are trying to be more receptive to see where this is gonna lead you. You're very open and that's how you're feeling about this person, okay? Now here is how they feel about you. Let's look into this. Um, well, this person is feels happy when they think about you. They, they love your energy and they feel like this burst of sunshine coming from you. And they are just like, how are you so happy and positive all the time? Like they see you as like this happy person. Obviously you're going through a lot, but when they look at you, they see this light in you. And so they feel like happy and, and they're, they wanna wait for you. Like they, they are trying to wait for things to like align for you guys to be together. And so um, this person does still have feelings for you or has feelings for you if you're wondering. Um, cause I have a feeling you guys have known each other, but this is saying they're willing to kind of wait for this energy to work itself out. The thing is, is that this person you're inquiring about is very focused on their finances and career. They might even have financial issues. So you're not making the effort cause you're like, I deserve to be pursued and that's where I want to be. I want to be the receptive energy. This person, the ball is in their court. Um, but what I see is that they're having a hard time pursuing because they need to find more stability. And so they're feeling kind of like, I'm going to wait until this gets better. And then, you know, I, I really have feelings. I like this person. Um, and I you know this person definitely thinks about you. I mean, you know, they're very, they're thinking about you in this way. Like they are attracted to you and they want to connect with you and, they are like very, very into you. And I feel like um, they feel the chemistry, they feel the connection and this joy card, there's like joy and joy here, like happiness and joy. And like they picture that it would be really awesome to be with you, but then there's like these red flags. And I feel like this is a timing thing. This person has feelings, but for some reason, probably their finances and career, their stability, their foundation, they feel like they can't pursue. And so this is a stalemate here. Do your feelings match? I'm gonna say no. This person seems to be feeling a lot more positive about it than you are. I feel like you're being left in the dark. They are kind of just like, I'm just gonna wait and try and like work on this, see what happens. Um, and so I don't think that your feelings match, but there are feelings that are mutual on both sides, if that makes sense. So I hope that this reading resonates with you guys. I am sending you so much love and light. Definitely let me know in the comments below what your situation is or if this resonates with you. And if you would like your own personal reading, I have a couple more spots left. So head over to promiseharmony.com slash services. And of course, stay tuned because I have free pick a card readings coming up here on the channel multiple times a week. I will see you guys soon. Peace out.